Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome to a new week and a new vlog. Today is Monday and we are starting off the day with a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> so I did a whole lot of dishes last night and then decided that it was probably time to give the blender a really good wash out. So I had to take it apart and there's little screws and clips and detachments and Oh my gosh, I'm glad that I did it though. It was uh, totally gross. So I've washed all of that out and then putting it back together. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was like a complete jigsaw puzzle. I've sped it up for you, but this took me nearly 10 minutes to figure out how all the bits go back together again because I didn't actually film really up close and I just kind of guesstimate turning it all inside and out and back to front. <laughs> And then breakfast today, I chose to have toast. I just felt like it, so it's easy. And then we've run the dishwasher. We loaded it last night and it's ready to be turned on because it's daytime and we can use the solar for easy running. I've turned it onto an eco wash this time because I'm in no hurry for the cycle to be finished. As per usual. <laughs> I'm sitting here editing some videos and doing voiceovers and next door with the house building. There's drill hammers going off and nail guns and saws and <laughs> and every time there's a rev up I think okay I'll do some computer work and then it dies down as soon as it starts again so I go okay so I go to hit record and it starts off again. <laughs> this is why editing takes a really long time. <laughs> So yes, most of my Monday I spent at the computer uh, chilling on YouTube, not going to lie. was really struggling with motivation today and I think <laughs> putting the blender back together just did my head in and mentally I couldn't really focus on anything else. I had a lot of editing to do and a lot of planning for future social media stuff. Also my phone was nearly full to capacity so I had to get all of that out. And then we had bits and pieces coming up. Oh, it was just crazy. We've got a long weekend coming up next weekend. So I need to plan ahead for some bits and pieces. Yeah. Keeping on the frugal path and also because I'm currently cleaning out the fridge which you would have already seen one of the videos up so I'm having yogurt because also I'm trying to eat healthy at the moment haha ha, famous last words even though I've baked all weekend and also some rice cakes with some corn relish that I found in the fridge as well ham and all the rest of it I cleaned out the vacuum cleaner I'm so glad I did put it on a uh, fast speed it seemed to take forever just getting like all the hairs out of that was wrapped around all the bits and pieces. My daughter went to use a vacuum cleaner. It was making this weird whirring sound. So of course did a bit of a Google and it just said that the filter was clogged up and it totally was. So I'm glad that I did sit down and pull it all apart because now it works and it saves me paying for someone else to clean it. Not that I probably would, but it was a lot easier than I thought. I've seen other people on YouTube do it and then it's time to get dinner ready and again we're doing a bit of a freezer use it up challenge which you would have seen already in the february meals video i've got a little markdown haul that i did after zumba so i've got some iced coffee because we always need that so a little bit of a markdown it's totally worth it I got some hot dog rolls for 60 cents. I was excited to get these. I use them for French toast, but I have some food ideas coming up with the meatballs and things we have in the big freezer. I got two roast chickens for $6 each. Um, hubby will enjoy those, something different for lunches each day. And I have some grapes as well. So I'm going to make some chocolate milk because I got some more milk on clearance. And this way I know that the milk goes super fast. And oh yeah, I got some Hershey's chocolate syrup marked down as well. <laughs> oh, I said to someone on TikTok the other day, I need to start a bingo card with things that we use all the time that I've never ever found on Markdown. 
Annette to find because they had said to me, you'd be better off putting cacao powder in there instead of the Hershey syrup because there's additives. And I said, nah, mate, too expensive. And he said, I'm sure with your markdown skills, you'd be able to find some. I said, oh, I'll have to start a bingo card and put it all together. <laughs> also figured with the chicken carcasses, I could use them to make a chicken stock because I've never actually done that before. I've done it once and it seemed to have really fatty on top, like a fat cover, if that makes sense. And someone said to me that you boiled it too fast. Um, so you've got to do it on a low simmer for three or four hours. So I thought I'd give it another go, except I put these carcasses in the fridge and I forgot about them for about three or four days because they end up in a drawer rather than sitting there on the shelf and they ended up getting a little bit of mold on them. So I just threw them out and figured that I'll make chicken stock when I next get a really good carcass, which I do end up getting with a markdown chicken later on. And I did then make the stock the next day so the carcass didn't go to waste. So lesson learned, uh, throw the carcass in the freezer, which is what I did uh, with another one then that you'll see coming up in a few weeks. And then we've got some veggie scraps that we're saving and other bits and pieces. And of course I pulled all the chicken off as per usual. And now there is chicken here for sandwiches during the week because it gives hubby a break from ham. Um, but also my daughter doesn't like ham. So now she can have chicken for her sandwiches. And then any of the thigh meats, because most people don't like that, I will throw that into like a risoni or use it on top of chicken bases. And no one has any idea. Now that my children are older and they are home more, I feel like I'm in my younger mum era now. So I am back to doing sort of breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks and everything else. So I figured if you can't beat them, join them. And it's time that we're going back to old school of how we're attempting to plan out food to kind of make sure that people eat well and they're not just eating cookies all day. So I got this idea from Rachel from One of a Dozen and she plans out on her kitchen what people are having for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, etc, etc, including if she puts like fruit or crackers, cheese, whatever it is. And I thought, such a brilliant idea. And I'm still going to get to that point in time. But for now, I'm trying to use it as a bit of a visual thing to remind people that there is other food in the house that's not just cookies and even though you open the fridge uh, it might not visually be right there but it might be inside of a container so you need to grab the container the food's not just going to be sitting there shining all on its own to come out so I'm hoping that this is going to work this whiteboard I got from Daiso it was like two dollars or something and I've been writing on there mostly for myself snacks that we have so I can start incorporating them into ideas for the week and really having a bit of variety and just reminding people again that there's more food than cookies and my daughter wrote on here souls of the damned a goat for ritual sacrifice because it's under the snacks and I says, well, what type of goat? <laughs> She's like purple. <laughs> oh, so we have a lot of laughs uh, in our house and yeah, often leave very cryptic and funny messages, but we've still got a sandwich for lunch idea there. So that's pretty good. And now we're just looking at adding some more lunch ideas. I just got petrol. I'm about to leave. Did you know hot dogs at OTR are only $3? Oh my gosh, that's very tempting. <sighs> I'm trying to be frugal. Okay, on to Zumba. 
Hello, it's Tuesday. Oh, I've got a hair. Oh, don't you hate that? There it goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've just gone and got petrol and let me show you the receipt. So I went to OTR because they bought out BP and it's on my way to Zumba. So I stopped in because the unleaded price was on that big pole, uh, $1.75. I need 95 for my car because I drive a European car. So it means it's $1.90 for a litre, which is fine. And I filled my car up 42 litres. Um, it still had about 80 kilometres to go or something like that. So I think my tank is about 50. And my total was $80.66. I wasn't planning on putting that much in, but actually this price isn't too bad compared with the fact that the price is meant to go up to like $2.20 or something by tomorrow. So I just filled it up, but also I filled it up accidentally because one of my Zumba ladies came out and was standing there talking to me and I got distracted. So yeah, there's my receipt and I will put that into also receipt jar. So I'll leave the link for that down below. You must put your referral code in when you join receipt jar before you upload any receipt to be able to get the bonus points. Their system is terrible. I have emailed them a couple of times about it, that it's not really a clear cut, easy referral program. They always say looking into it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm about to go and teach Zumba. Um, I have to be charging my speaker as I'm driving because I forgot to do that this morning. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I was just got stuck into YouTube and admin stuff as per usual, so that's what happens when you're not organized. Uh, but I want to just have a quick chat about petrol. I'd love to know where you live and how you organize petrol because I used to go to Woolworths because you get the four cents off for the shop and then the four cents off for being an RAA member, but there are no Woolworths petrol stations near where I live. So I have to rely on being there during the week for other things. And it's only about once a week that I'm close enough to one. And by the time I got there, I usually don't need petrol because I've already done it because I then switched to go to Coles Express because in store they were doing a lot of gro grocery clearances. I was getting a six pack of eggs for like a dollar. So I was like, this is worth it for me to go here instead. So then I was going there, getting the four cents off for the shop, four cents off for, um, well, the, I get eight eight times the points, five ice points. Sometimes I was getting a special offer. If I spent $5 in store, I was getting a bonus of a thousand points or something. So basically free groceries. So I was doing that. And now they've sold out to Ampol where I don't think the rewards are. I need to do a little bit more research. So now it's kind of like, and then I thought I was going to go to BP because you get Qantas reward points. Problem is most of the BPs have been sold out to OTR. So it's kind of like, where are the petrol rewards? I know that Victoria have the 7-Eleven app, so I guess it's just going to be about cost saving. Oh, it's beyond frustrating. Anyway, we need to go to Zumba, so let's get going. So again, I've parked under the tree and oh, I forgot to put my shade up. Okay, we got to go back. Okay, there we are. We've got our shade up, so I hope that helps. I've parked underneath a tree, but as you can see, some other Zumba people have decided to copy me as well. There's one lady there, and there's another lady there. <laughs> and I'm noticing there's a few cars over here that have moved a little bit where the shade is. It's estimated to be 36 degrees today, so we shall see how it goes. This class on a Tuesday runs rain, hail or shine. There's a couple of people who said they're going to boycott for the weather, <laughs> but there are other people that will be here no matter what. So yeah, all right, let's go. Dropped into Foodland on my way home, just have a look at the bargains. And while there was a lot of markdowns, there was nothing that I could justify. It was actually worth the money. So I am growing and developing. <laughs> but yeah, had a look, good look at everything, but I decided to leave it all. 
Um, oh, I do grab these vegan croissants though. And then home for an afternoon snack. I am finishing off this dip. So I had a couple of biscuits and I think I grabbed a carrot as well. And then in the afternoon, I am annoying my daughter with some K-pop dance while she does whatever it was in the kitchen. <laughs> I went to Coles on my way home after Zumba and I saw these cookies march down and I left them. Now if that doesn't say growth and development, I don't know what does, but yes, I'm hoping that every little bit counts and adds up. And then I went into Woolworths because I was looking for something to mark down and I was just having a look at these veggies and this chicken and I was contemplating about picking them up for like one of those $10 meal things but also thinking about ideas for people that are struggling with the executive dysfunction, because even though chopped up veggies frugally aren't the best, they're still a really good idea. Um, but yeah, it's a plan in motion, so when I figure it out, I'll, I'll put it together. And then one of my Zumba ladies, of course, gave me the Pokemon cards, which we have finished our collection now, you'll see that in a couple of weeks. And someone left a trolley near my car that was Audi so I plugged it back in and I got a dollar woo it's Wednesday now and I feel like we've done a lot already and we're only halfway I had dropped into Coles on the way home from Zumba and I saw these ice creams were on sale and as tempting as they were I knew it would be another half an hour before I was home so I decided not to get them and plus we don't need the calories so I'm hoping that seven dollars saved is a win for us yeah, I don't know, but I think mostly because I was, wasn't going to be home for another half an hour. <laughs> I didn't want to have melted ice cream in the car. Hubby is working from home today, so I made sure that everybody had toasted sandwiches for lunch because one, we really needed to use up the bread because it has been very humid in our house with the weather. So I thought that was a way. And then here is the chicken making an appearance again for my daughter sandwich. And then I end up having banana on toast. This is my breakfast while everyone else has their lunch because I hadn't actually eaten yet. And then I made hubby sandwiches as well, ham, cheese, pineapple toasted. And then later on I have my sandwich and I actually end up using the crusts of the loaf because um, there was still normal bread left, but I thought I'll save that for hubby sandwiches and we can get an extra day out of it. And I will use up the end because bread is bread. My daughter and I went to a couple of op shops in the afternoon because I'm looking for a couple of baking containers because I'm a baker. I'm forever looking for containers. <gasps> I've just realized I saw something on the shelf that probably could have been helpful at home. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, so I did pick up this bread tin because I've decided that apparently I'm going to be able to make bread because I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> I am sure that is a statement that my family do not enjoy hearing. I really liked this glass container but at $6 I thought mm, no plus I already have a glass container but I'm kind of wondering if I should get another one but I'm thinking I should probably get one from Kmart because they come with lids. Oh, I'm just not sure. So because I'm not sure, I've left it. That's my thing now. If I don't know, I'll leave it and just hope to find it another time. Then we went to Coles and Woolworths and did some little shops to pick up a few bits and pieces and we got some really good markdowns as well. Oh, here's a money hack I wanted to share with you. So my daughter wanted beef jerky and so what I did is I just Googled beef jerky and then clicked the shopping button and it brought me up the prices for Coles and Woolworths so I could see who had the lowest spend. We were going into both stores anyway, but I thought I don't want to be in one and then find out it's cheaper than another. So at least this was a way. I don't have the apps on my phone. I use a computer when I'm searching for stuff, but I will use Google on my phone to search for prices and hit the shopping app. It is just a lot quicker. So as a tip for you, um, I just find the apps take up too much space on my phone. And whereas Google's pretty simple. Here's my um, son's dinner. I made him some 
soy and garlic noodles with chicken nuggets I made the extra noodles so he can have them there ready for lunch the next day and then we've had the crumbs chicken so if people ask what it is so all it is is a chicken breast that I've cut in half and then I dip it in the flour and then I dip it into egg it's just an egg beaten up and then in the last bowl is panko crumbs with plums and cheese so I put in a cup of panko crumbs and maybe a quarter of cup of plums and cheese mix it all together and then I put the egged chicken breast into that coat it and I do that for all the chicken so it's all done at once and then it gets bagged and labeled and then it gets thrown into the freezer so then I have chicken there available on the nights that we're going to do like chicken and chips or something and the chicken cooks in the oven for 20 minutes so it's really easy dinner um then we end up cleaning the kitchen in the evening and i will put this up as a separate cleaning video because i know that people really enjoy cleaning along with me but you can enjoy a little bit of it here I started doing another fridge clean out as you can see it needs it it's never long between needing a clean out from one to the other so pretty much as soon as I finished the last one we were ready to start the next one and I had dropped some beetroot in the fridge and some other bits and pieces and so I thought I better clean that up and actually have something aesthetically pleasing <laughs> I also had done some other little meal prep bits and pieces and so I'll put that in a separate video as well because that way it can just stand alone as a money saving video and of course just rearranging the fridge and tidying things up and cleaning them all out. Although you'll see this in meal prep video, I thought I'd share it here. So the hot dog rolls that I got early on, I knew that they weren't going to last very long with the humidity that's here. And we ended up changing around what we had for dinner this week due to trying to clean out the freezer and other bits and pieces. So I ended up chopping up all the bread rolls, some in half to make the pizza and meatball subs down the track, but also so we can have some French toast during the weekend. And you'll see that coming back out again. And me trying to play Tetris again, putting everything into the freezer. Here's the ice creams that I had recreated. I showed you in the ice cream video. Um, they're all sitting there very <laughs> precariously balanced. And every time I went to move something, things kept moving. So, um, <laughs> oh yeah, we need to start using up some things that are in this freezer. The problem was the fridge was full as... So basically moving it from the fridge to the freezer, the other big fridge is full, it's going to take a while. So yeah, I'm in a bit of a no meat shopping ban for a little while. Went to Foodland and I got some things marked down, of course I did, including all this cream. So I made the lactose free ice cream that you would have seen. Also I wanted to do it as a bit of an experiment. Um, I did get the chicken kips there though because we did have room in the big freezer in the chicken drawer to put some things. So I got them. It's Thursday morning already, we're off to Zumba and I grabbed a banana and had coffee in the car as per usual and went to bingo with my mum and then oh, in the afternoon she likes to go to Woolworths sometimes to go shopping so I wander around while she's in other aisles. She goes one way, I go the other way. And I did see this chicken roast marked down but I decided to leave it because one, there's no room for it. And two, we really need to eat some other things first because I don't 
need anything going off the freezer burn. And then I saw this chocolate mousse on special and I thought, I'm sure I can make it cheaper than that myself. So I recorded it to remind myself and eventually I'll get around to it. And then home for some puppy entertainment. Max, 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 hello. I dropped into Audi on the way home because we literally needed potatoes. So I figured I'd get them. I also still had money left over on a gift card and I was holding out until tomorrow to start the Coles for weekly spend. So I figured these are the things we do need right now to tide us over. I got apple and black currant juice. There wasn't any normal apple juice there, so I got that. I got this bottle of cola because everyone tells me how amazing it is. And I thought, well, we haven't had any soft drinks for a few weeks, so I'll grab it. I grabbed these baking bits because, again, everyone tells me how amazing they are. So I thought I'll give them a go. And frozen corn kernels because we always need those and we are nearly out as well. Oh, the things that you don't want to run out of, I tell you, and we're cutting it close. So I've only spent a little bit of money there, but it was free technically because, as I said, it was money left over from a gift card from one of the Audi clubs I had last year. And then dinner was steak, super cheap that I got, happy with that. And my son had dim sims that I found in the big freezer with some fried rice because I found this little packet of rice. Friday morning and my breakfast is coffee and a hot cross bun <laughs> and yeah I'm nearly half asleep I did not sleep very well last night the weather has not been kind happy Friday it is currently 8 40 a.m. Uh, I'm helping some people with appointments and driving and stuff like that today so we have to get up and get on the road early drop them off, go and teach them work, go back, pick them up, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Woo, hello. Oh my gosh, that light is pretty annoying. How you doing? Um, I'm about to go and teach Zumba. I need my glasses on. Can I see? Um, so this morning, <laughs> ah, it's been entertaining already. So I dropped off some people at our hospital for some appointments and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my God. So first of all, when we're driving there, there's two lanes to go in and you either pick this lane so you can go up to the side car parking or yeah car parking or this lane so you can go up the hill and there's a car in this lane that decides it wants to go up the side parking and just like cuts straight in front of me and I'm like oh my gosh and then it stops as it's turned halfway and you see them like like all of a sudden I figured out that I know where they are <laughs> then uh, I go up a bit more to turn to the second car parking and there's a guy <laughs> just standing in the middle of the road in a white gown facing open all his ECG tags on and a pair of underwear and <laughs> yelling you can't make me go back in there <laughs> I think I blame you and then he turns and runs across the road, narrowly missing a bus and a car. And I'm like, could you imagine calling an ambulance? What's the address? Uh, 50 meters from the hospital door. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh my gosh. And then my mum gets out of the car and steps backwards just to shut the door as you do. She wasn't really in anyone's way and I can't nearly takes her out because they're trying to figure out where to go and then as I'm leaving there's three lanes 
one goes down into the expressway, one kind of goes forward and then one goes forward and then turns to go in, um, north. And the car in front of me decides, oh, I'm going down the expressway instead of straight. <laughs> I'm there like, oh my gosh, my day has not even started. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So um, I've actually got to Zumba a few minutes early, which is good because I really need the loo. Um, and also now I'm going to go tell this story <laughs> and they're going to have a giggle. <laughs> yes. And then um, hopefully we don't start this process all over again and they'll pick up and go back home. I'll let you know. My stepdad made some scotch eggs. So I had one while I was visiting at their place and they gave me one to bring home. So that was my dinner that evening. And then in the afternoon, I had to run back to the hospital and take some paperwork for my mum for one of her appointments. And it was so funny because I had to park in this like 10 minute waiting zone. And when I'm in there, they're like, oh, just have a seat. I'm like, I have less than eight minutes because I am not paying parking fine. So if you can't finish what you need to do, I will get back in the car, drive around the block and come back again. <laughs> Oh, I have never panicked so much needing to get back to a car so fast in all my life. Then in the afternoon, I literally sat on Facebook for about an hour and I went through and unfollowed a whole heap of groups that I'm in. And also I managed to find this section of groups that I applied for back in the Avon days. So we're talking like six years ago. And they were all sitting there pending, waiting, because I got a notification the other day, your request to join this group has been approved. And I was like, why would I need to be in a buy and sell group that's like in Sydney? I live in Adelaide. And then realized there's all this pending in there. So I went in there and I cleaned all of that out and I left quite a few groups as well that I'd been in, just some gardening groups and things that probably I never plan on being back in, because also I figured that if I haven't checked into the group for well over a year, there's no point being in the group. So I just left them and figured I can always Google if I need more information. So because I'm in my baking era and also use it up, I yeah kind of get the last bit of the honey out and I ended up putting it inside the kettle for a few seconds because I can shove the lid and then either the hot water gets the honey out, but I accidentally pushed it down onto the element and it destroyed the bottle so this recipe luckily calls for a little bit of water so I put the water inside the bottle and I shook it all around and then it emptied it out and I have two perfectly clean honey bottles but really one that's only functionable because the other one's a little bit destroyed by the heat but still I'm throwing them into this box to save because I have a video idea coming up later so stay tuned for that and then we have more uh, honey oat cookies for my daughter and I've done this recipe a million times before and you can find the video on the channel as well and it's the weekend and we are doing french toast for breakfast so back out comes the bread that we did and I actually ran out because people were hungry so luckily I found this sweet loaf that was uh, in the cupboard <laughs> why I don't know it clearly preserved well so I chopped it up and we used half of that and then the rest has gone into the freezer for another meal. I decided suddenly at 4.30 in the afternoon that I need to go and get a few things from Audi. Um, yeah, and I didn't realise what the time was, if that makes any sense. So I'm literally taking photos of the fridge as a bit of a shopping list and I will go to Audi and see what I can collect. So we grab a Woolworths trolley because that's the first thing that I could find when I walked in the door because I was in a hurry. Shops close at 5 p.m. on a Sunday and there are no eggs. So we are already on the back foot. As I said, I'm baking. It's really hard to make things without any eggs. In the evening, I did a massive kitchen clean, which I will save for another video because it was epic. As you can see, I finally got all this tidied up and I'm actually really impressed and I also managed to do some dishes and hubby did some dishes as well. So we're on a roll. I'm super happy that we're finally getting organized and onto something. 
Oh, and then, yes, I'm cleaning up the kitchen while I'm watching Titanic as well. I also just did a little bit of a pantry organizing because there's just stuff everywhere. Although I've done the pantry inventory, I was curious to know exactly how much of flour and bits and pieces we had. I know that we have them, but I was just trying to get a bit more specific now that I've got my head around a bit more what I'm doing. And also I just had bits and pieces everywhere and people need to move containers to get other things. So I'm looking at a way that I can make the pantry a little bit more functionable. I have an idea, but it's way down the list of how it's going to happen compared with everything else that needs to happen first. So I did manage to decant some of the flour into the bigger containers and then also have a look around any little things that were there, like decanting the little bit left of the ground cinnamon into this bigger container because there's only a little bit in there and apparently my daughter said to me the other day i was trying to prank myself because i've left a container of cinnamon sugar right next to the ground sugar so she moved that for me so yes we're just trying to make sure that we have some stability and normality while we can in the pantry and figure out from there where to go well, that is the end of our vlog. Thank you so much for spending the week with me. We've had a lot to do. We've saved a lot of money. I don't know how much. I don't keep track of these things. But as per usual, we've been busy and we've had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.